Good evening, everyone. This morning was the 29th annual Run Your Bass Off and 23rd annual Half Bass Race at Ronco Lake Park in Crystal Falls. This race was a good test for runners to see if they could run their tail off all the way to the river. And there were three racing options to choose from. You could run the 10K, which is 6.2 miles, the half bass run of 3.6 miles, or just flat out walk your bass off at two miles. Children of all ages came to run in the event, which was on display today. Look at those troopers. And the course had a few challenges along the way. Runners proved uh, much thanks to the locals who helped provide as much water refreshment on a hot day. But the hike to the finish line is what makes the race challenging every single year. <laughs> Yeah, there's some there's a little humor in the race because at the top of each hill uh, uh, the, the, the supporters would say hey that's the last hill it's all downhill from there so mentally you get pumped up you'd run about 200 yards down the hill and then there'd be another hill going back up it was great it was challenging there was some tough hills but uh, it was a lot of fun I thought the race was great the temperature was really nice it was very hilly uh, but there was a great support system along the way towards the end somebody was playing the rocky theme so that kind of pumped you up but uh, it's a good race I'd do it again Sarah Trevelyan of Iron Mountain was the fastest female time on the 10K with 42 minutes and 50 seconds. Kao So from Brookings, South Dakota was the fastest male time with 33 minutes and 9 seconds. And the best half bass time came from Josh Boostick of Ispelante uh, with 22 minutes and 19 seconds. And we also have some Legion baseball. Second game with a double header between first place Gladstone and second place Hancock. Second inning, Luke Lacrosse comes up with a two out hit. And the right field line, Jake Pearson and Jared Stenson score 2 0 Indians. And then Hancock's Luke Paul with his fourth hit of the doubleheader. Trust me, the infielders did block outside of the ball. Here comes Mike Sari uh, trying to score, but he is tagged out at the plate by Cody Frazier. It's still 3 0 Indians. And Indians ahead 5 0 and trying to add more in the fifth. Both the fake bunt steal and Sari uh, will with the strong throw to punch out the runner. And then Justin Urich yeah. will hits this one right through the shortstop Frazier and Paul Tomaszewski score. It's 8 0 Indians and Gladstone winds up sweeping the double header 8 to 3. And then we also have a full list of, you know, full screens of scores 9 and 10 minor league baseball. We have the Iron County beating Schaefer 9 to 3 and Iron Ca Iron Mountain North beating Norway 8 to 3 and then we have Tri Tri County winning I mean losing to Munising 19 to 12 and Gladstone beating Escanaba 9 to 3 and then we also have some more uh, baseball Escanaba beating Munison 14 to 11 and Gladstone beating Tri Tri County 8 to nothing and then we have 11 still Major League Baseball and uh, Nagani 18 to 1 over Lake of the Clouds and Marquette beating Ishpeming 6 to 5. And then uh, Ishpeming beat Keweenaw 11 to 6 and they advanced to the district final on Tuesday. And then in the 11 to 12 Major Softball, we have Escanaba beating Gladstone 9 to 8. And in that game, Claire McInerney with the game winning hit to left field. And Escanaba faces Taylor Friday morning at 10 o'clock in the state tournament in Gladstone. And then finally, Escanaba uh, uh, beats Kingsford 11 to 1 in the junior softball. And they open state tournament in 21st of July in near Grand Rapids. And then senior softball, we have Norway beating Kingsford 14 to 13.